Hi, and welcome to Davis Sports Report. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hi, everyone. So the South Carolina undefeated Gamecocks, national champions of 2024, visited the White House this week. And President Joe Biden escorted uh, our favorite coach, Don Staley, into the event. Uh, President Biden gave a great speech um, talking about some impressive stats that the Gamecocks put up this year. Let's listen in. National champions, the University of South Carolina. You had been to just two tournaments in 17 years. And uh, now we're here to celebrate the third national championship. Second in three years. With 109 to 3 record in that span. 109 to 3. You got it, kid. And you're back there going, you're right. Just the tenth team ever to go undefeated in women's college basketball. That's not to say you uh, you weren't challenged all the way to your 38-no uh, effort. You know, uh, you had to replace five starters due to the WNBA draft and graduation. And there were doubts all over, doubts all over about contending for the title this year. But for the record, and this is God's truth. I picked you to win. <laughs> my part. Won a lot of money. No, that's a joke. <laughs> but you, said, so you never gave up. You never gave up. You kept the faith. And you just finished the job. Look, take the title game against Iowa. In the back and forth game, everyone had to step up. Nine players recorded double digits in nine minutes. Double nine. Four players scored in double figures. Your bench outscored Iowa's bench 37 to nothing. And here's another big number. The championship game was the most watched basketball game in five years, peaking at over 24 million viewers. Because everybody watches women's sports, but go ahead. <laughs> Tell you what, I don't think you know who I've met that for. <laughs> Look, when you took this job, Carolyn Peck, the first black female coach in Division I women's basketball national champion, gave you a piece of a net from the title game. All she asked you was to pay it forward. And that's what you've done. After your first title game, you sent a piece of the net to every black woman head coach in Division I basketball. That network is your legacy. Team. So that was information I didn't know. And again, just makes me uh, love Dawn Staley even more. <laughs> Coach Staley is so awesome. So um, thank you. Thank you, President Biden. Um, to uh, my good friend, Dr. Biden and distinguished guest. Thank you for this incredible honor to stand here in the White House, a house that symbolizes hope, unity, and opportunity for all, is a moment that is not lost on me. I feel like this is a, a teachable moment for my team. I'm reminded of the journey of our state, our home state, South Carolina, has taken how not so long ago the Confederate flag was taken down from our state capitol, a symbol that represented division and exclusion. That moment wasn't just about a symbol being removed. It was about people coming together, uniting for a shared vision of progress, justice, and equality. Today, my staff, my team, and I stand here embodying diversity, inclusiveness, and unity. My, my hope is that this moment lands on you as my team, as a powerful reminder of the beauty that, that can come from unifying for a common goal and doing things the right way. I want to thank President Biden for your leadership. We appreciate your service, and we hope, um, we truly hope that your legacy will continue um, in, in all of us. So thank you so much. 
So I'm glad uh, Coach Staley took the time out to really um, talk about the things happening in South Carolina, the progressive movements there. Um, they're not too far away from us here in Georgia. So yeah, I do remember that flag flying uh, both in Georgia and South Carolina. Um, but yes, yeah, she gave a great speech. This is just a snippet of the entire event. If you want to see the entire speech from both President Biden and Coach Staley, you can go on YouTube at the um, White House's uh, page and you can find it there. I think some other places have it as well, the full speech. But I just kind of took some snippets out of it. Um, How is your whole public office in South Carolina? You better hope she keeps coaching and doesn't run. <laughs> That's right. Coach Staley for governor. <laughs> and at the presenting of the jersey, number 46, And noticeably, there were a few players missing from the event, and that's going to be Camilla Cordoso, who is now in the WNBA, and she is assisting Chicago with trying to hold that uh, final playoff spot before the uh, season is over. Also absent was Sanaya Fegan. She is playing for Team USA on the three-on-three U23 National League World Cup, and they had their first game today beating both, uh, let's see, Japan and Italy. Their next game will be Saturday on the 14th, and we want to wish Team USA the best of luck. You know, you guys get it done for us. <laughs> and then lastly was uh, Ashlyn Watkins was missing today as she is under investigation or suspended from the team while she is under investigation for some battery and kidnapping charges. We have put out a piece on that, and we are going to continue to watch to see what happens with Ashlyn. Uh, we and we look forward to seeing the Gamecocks back on the court this year. But there has been a lot happening in new recruits and the transfer portal, um, namely Ohio State, UConn, and Michigan all getting a top five recruit. Can't leave out South Carolina. They got their own new recruit as well in the top five. So are you going to stick with South Carolina to win it again for 2025? Or are you going with one of the other teams? Maybe Ohio State, ah, Notre Dame got a top 10 recruit. And you know of that transfer portal, Kiki Ariafin joined Juju Watkins. So that other USC team, who you got? Let us know. We thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you on the next one. Have a good one. Goodbye. Thank you so much for joining us. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Goodbye.